Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Ryan Engelstad here, Senator Minnesota. And uh, some fun thrifting finds, some rarer than I thought type finds. So we'll kind of take you through the what we found and you let me know in the comments what you guys think. So this isn't exactly Nerf, but this is actually a pretty good scale Han Solo blaster. Must be some kind of laser tag maybe? Lights and sounds? I don't know. Has a battery compartment, so I'll have to check that out later. A working Ultimate Missile Blast. I did pay the $5 for that because they're getting harder and harder to come by, especially in working condition and with such nice stickers and in good condition. A Rebel Jolt, the different size, uh, the different shape. A Rad 12, always fun to find. This is some unknown clip fed dual flywheel stock blaster and I thought this was similar to another one I found that also had a double flywheel system and when my friend was over here we were talking about it the other day he said that the double flywheel thing is kind of rare especially to find it with the clips so we're gonna have to do a little bit more investigation on it you advance that little pump to make it go and the top clip goes first and the bottom clip so we'll have to do a video with those two blasters this and the blue one i have and uh with the stationary camera so we can show you how it works a uh, porcupine pop that works so that's gonna be fun that's a fun nerf type item rapid fire tech that does not work but i bought it for the magazine uh no shells which is a shame but uh always fun to get those mags a Rebel Purse Blaster. And those are fun to find. I like it that the garage sale sticker on it still said 10 cents, but they decided to charge $33. So, uh, Tech 6, the green version. Uh, Adventure Force 6 Shot. Uh, Sharpshooter 2, vintage. That's the reason why I'm doing the video today, is because I'm uh, going to give this to one of my buddies at the parade tomorrow uh, i'll just charge them what i paid for it plus tax and uh no stickers none that's missing the rear sight ammo holder but for a collection that would be a good uh placeholder till he finds a better one a uh, modulus with the 12 round mag and the uh what is that the zombie strike nail biter type stock it didn't come with the nail biter but at the same time another x shot six shot uh Stormtrooper Super Rifle, no magazine, which is a shame, but it was only $8 with a 20% off, so that was a fair price. What else are we getting to here? The Fortnite inline clip blaster. No uh, suppressor on the front. Let's go to the, and we'll go to underneath it. Okay, one of these little air pressure pistol, little jobbers, a bag. Uh, Papa Smurf is always fun to find, but a uh, Tech 3 and a Jolt. Another Rads 12, I swear. That day I went thrifting, I went to four different thrift stores, each one of them had one of these. And uh, after you find two, they're really not interested in spending $8 on the other two that you find that day. Another Tech 6. This time the yellow and blue version. Another bag that has a Quadrat, you know, that's not the greatest. Fire Strike's fine. And the uh, clamp down, right? Whatever. Zombie strike, jolt. Yeah, clamp down. A double strike, always fun to find. Nerf target. So this is the second one I found of the, like that. Another dart zone pistol. This is the Blitzfire older version. I also found the Blitz 2, the B, BZ2, or BF2. A little different form factor. Very nice still. What else is in the bottom here? A Triad and another Tech 3, the black version. And a Torrent with darts. And this is the rarer black handle, gray cylinder, and little black highlights. And it also has a few shells in there. So. That was a kick butt find. I never have uh, seen the one with the black handle, the rarer version. 
So that's part one. Moving on to part two is a Delta Trooper complete. A Nerf cam, no magazine, but those are always fun to find. They don't come up that often. Fortnite rocket launcher, and I was talking with the cashier, and I would recommend this to anybody. You know, always say hello, always, you know, banter back and forth with the cashier because we were talking about it, and she said, oh, yeah, that's a nice big one. I'm glad you found that one because, you know, we've talked an awful lot. And I said, yeah, the hard thing to find is a rocket. She goes, oh, well, in that case, and she knocked two bucks off it, so it was only three ninety-nine. So, you know, a little, sometimes a little bit of friendliness, friendliness uh, is in your favor. Sure, sure, sure was that day. Walking Dead Rick Shotgun. The Super Soaker, of course, I bought for the stack. And there was a Rogue uh, Scope, so I threw it on there. Uh, same place I found that Rogue Scope, and I put it on the Shadow ICS 6. Or is that 8? 6. 6. Also found an Evader with magazine and a suppressor. A Mega Mastodon, which was hilarious, because this was cheaper than the Double Down... The Rads 12 and several other blasters at that same uh, Goodwill that they only priced that for eight dollars, and so many other blasters were the same price or more, and this is uh, quite an improvement even just for parts. So happy to find that. Another Super Soaker I bought, of course, just for the stock. It was only a few dollars, but uh, if we use it for a Super Soaker, great. But I bought it for the stock. Another Desolator. Uh, $4 Rapid Strike, which I was super excited about until I noticed the battery door is missing. But they also had a long strike barrel with no price tag on it, so I threw it on there. So I'll probably sell the barrel, or in case someone's looking for one. And yeah, that was a good good pickup. Couple built blasters, no belts, unfortunately, but uh, there's a mongoose in uh, the Middle South, which was interested in those. And a complete Spectre. Of course, the uh, parts you want are the you know suppressor and the stock, but I'll take the whole package. The Moano Jack Specific hook. I only bought this because there's a channel called Radical Reseller, and he was talking about how those go for crazy amounts of money if the lights and sound work. And see. On. There we go. Maybe it's just cold. But lights and sound, uh, we're working. So, huh. It's trying. It's got a heartbeat. Anyway, probably fresh batteries would, uh, do it some wonders. A part of a Alpha Hawk, which I told on the Nerf Thrifters on Facebook. That I'd go back and buy if it was there the next day or the next week, and sure enough, it was that half a blaster was still there for the in the next week, so I had to buy it because I said I would. Let's see. Uh, Optimus Prime, ten shot blaster, lights and sound still work. The Optimus Prime vintage blaster, very great shape, both side doors, both front doors. Uh, some other off brand. Air Zoomers, Air Zone, never saw before. Wind Attack 8. So, I doubt if it's uh, rare or anything, but man, does it have a beefy, chunky handle. And the last thing was this goofy Optimus Prime sword. That, again, never saw before. I looked on eBay. It doesn't go for a lot of money, but it is kind of neat. And if I ever give away the blaster or blaster, you know, I'll throw this in with it. So, there you go. Those are the thrift finds for the last uh, few weeks. Some ones I've never seen before, for sure. And some other great uh, mod fodder, trade fodder. And, like I said, we'll probably try to sell that hook. Unless some little girl sweet talks me out of it. Alright, we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay well, and... Uh, Keep having fun uh, blasting them uh, blasters. All right, bye.